On this episode of Kemp Outside, we are going to review a new hiking boot. We're going to review the Nordiv 8. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today, I'm excited to review a new hiking boot. This is the Nordiv 8. I'm very excited to review this. Uh, these were sent to me. I didn't pay for them, so just get that out of the way. So I wanna thank uh, Nordiv for sending these boots to me. I'm really, really excited to try these out. I haven't worn an ankle high, uh, high top hiking boot in quite a while. I've been wearing a lot of hiking uh, shoes. And I gotta say guys, I just got back from uh, three and a half weeks of of hiking in uh, New York and Virginia uh, and Ohio, and I really, really wish I had some ankle support. So I'm really, really excited to review these. Uh, just off the bat, just looking at them, they they look great. They're you know they 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 feel real good. This is uh, a waterproof shoe, so it says waterproof on it. Uh, I haven't tried that out yet. I've actually haven't even put them on yet. This is kind of more of an unboxing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wear them. Unfortunately, I just got back from uh, three and a half weeks of, of camping and hiking, and it's 95 degrees here every day in Tampa, Florida. So I am not gonna be doing a lot of hiking. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna wear this for uh, a couple of days, and then I'm gonna come back and finish the video and give you my thoughts on it after I wear it. But Overall, guys, first, you know, I just mentioned some things. Uh, all of the, uh, all of the, the, the eyelets for the shoelaces are metal. I like that. They're not plastic. I think that's gonna uh, hold up. Uh, the shoe feels really good. It's kind of a, like a suede uh, type shoe. It's pretty light. Um, I don't get into how much shoes weigh and all that stuff, but. Uh, uh, looks like it has a pretty good lug pattern for tread. I don't think it's going to slip, um, but we'll see how it does outside. I'm going to go put these things on and go for a walk. So guys, it's been a couple of days since I started testing these Nordiv 8s, and I gotta tell you, I really, really like them. So what I'm doing right now is it's uh, early in the morning here in Tampa, Florida, and everything is covered with dew, and it rained yesterday. So my grass is pretty tall, needs to be mowed, but it is soaking wet. And so when I come out here in a vented shoe, if I just have to, if I'm just walking to my barn or gonna go hook up the boat or whatever when I walk out here in the summertime by the time I get to the barn my socks are soaked in a vented shoe they claim these boots are waterproof and so far I would agree because my feet are totally dry and the water was just beating up and rolling off the boots so that's a that's a great sign now there's always a question of of longevity right like how long are they waterproof and 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 for that, I can't answer that yet. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to wear these things a lot more and I'm going to see how long they last and how long they stay waterproof. But at least out of the box, they are definitely, uh, you know, water resistant, waterproof. Bottom line is I have dry feet, which is what I want. Okay, guys. So now that I've had the opportunity to really test out these Armadillo hiking boots by Nordivate, I got to say... I really like them. I haven't worn a, a mid uh, hiking shoe in a, a long time. And so I've forgotten how much ankle support they give. And what I really wish is that I had had them this summer when I was doing all my hiking in Shenandoah National Park and 
around Niagara Falls and, and the gorge trails along the Niagara River and all those places where a lot of steep downhill and uphill would have really given me uh, support that I don't have in, in a low hiking shoe. So my biggest question, guys, about these boots is longevity. How long are they going to last? And, and quite honestly, I couldn't uh, take six months to produce this video or a year to produce this video to, to, to test that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to continue to wear these and use them, especially when I need the ankle support. And I will report back in a future video how long they lasted. But guys, they are really, really comfortable when I first put them on. They're more comfortable when I first put them on than my normal hiking shoe, which is the Merrill Moab. So uh, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know I am a huge Merrill Moab fan. Uh, my son wears the mids all the time. I wear the lows. And that is my daily uh, footwear, guys. So... I wear hiking shoes all the time. So for eight to 12 hours a day, every single day, I am wearing hiking shoes. And so having tested out these uh, Armadillo hiking boots by Nord of Eight has really given me the idea that I really wanna try out their low. So uh, I've gone on Amazon and guys, there's a lightning sale on Amazon right now and their low is a $34 shoe. My Merrill Moabs, I normally spend like $110, I think, is or $109.99, I think, is what I normally spend on, on Merrill Moabs. And guys, I replace those every six months. So let's just say that for the sake of argument that these Nordivates don't last as long as Merrill Moabs. Let's say they last four months instead of six months uh, in terms of being in top-notch, you know, condition. Well, you know... Uh, half the price or less than half the price, you're still making out ahead, even if you're buying shoes more often. And for me, how I make my Merrill Moabs last even longer is I buy Dr. Scholl's gel inserts after about four months and put them in, and I might go two, three rounds of gel inserts before I replace the shoe. And that's just because, you know, I'm a big guy and I'm wearing them a lot. Now, if you're only wearing these shoes when you're hiking, so Maybe you only hike on the weekends or you hike once a month. These shoes, I think, are going to last you a long time. But if you're wearing them every day, every shoe, you know, wears out and, and that kind of thing. So, but I really don't have a whole lot of concerns. Uh, you know, I've worn them for about a week now uh, and they're holding up really well. And, you know, I've been on, on a variety of, of, of surfaces from concrete to asphalt to grass to dirt. Uh, we don't have any real rock uh, terrain here in Southwest Florida. And this is really the wrong time of year to test hiking boots, guys. Uh, we're having daily temperatures in the mid 90s with high humidity and massive thunderstorms in the afternoons pretty much every day. So this is not the time of year I do any hiking in Florida, but just wearing them around the house, wearing them when I'm out and about, uh, I've been really impressed with uh, their comfort and how well they, they hold up, uh, at least so far. So again, uh, look for a future video for me as I come back and report how long these things lasted. And I will also do a long-term review on the, the low, the hiking shoe, uh, because I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to probably have a couple of pairs of those in my arsenal for when I need uh, quality shoes. So a couple of other things that I really like about these guys is that they come in lots of different colors. So for my Merrill Moabs, I'm constantly getting the same color shoe over and over and over again. And what I'll do typically is when I buy a new shoe, I will save the old pair of shoes for any kind of like water sports from going tubing or I'll save a pair for mowing the lawn and that kind of thing. And with all the different color options, guys, and I'll put a shot on the screen here of all the different color options for these shoes. And there are a bunch of color options, as you can see. With all the different color options, guys, if you want to figure out how old your shoes are, you can always buy a different color each time. And then that way you know, oh, that color was two shoes ago, and so those are my lawn mowing shoes. Or, oh, those, those shoes were, were three shoes ago, and so those are my... Uh, white water rafting shoes or my my tubing shoes or, or, or whatever uh, if you need a pair of shoes for some water activities or that kind of thing so 
Uh, I really like the color options, and and I gotta say, I think all the color options look great. I don't think you could go go wrong, uh, depending on, on on your style. So I really like that. There's lots of options there, and of course, guys, the price price fluctuates. So I'm not gonna say what the price is right now, but when you go on Amazon, and I'll put a link below, guys. It's an affiliate link, so if you use my link to purchase, it does uh, it does give me a little uh, commission on the sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support my channel. But as you can see, when you click the link, guys, these are significantly less than a lot of the, the, the standard hiking shoes that you uh, are probably used to from companies like Merrill or Keen, uh, or, you know, or those or those kinds of companies. And so, if you're not, if you know, if you're, if 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 you if you are not a hardcore hiker right? You just need a pair of hiking boots for occasional use or, you know, little little one loop trails and, and, and those kinds of things. I think that you could buy this with confidence and, and get quite a bit of, of use out of it. If you are looking for the right shoe to tackle the Appalachian Trail, I can't recommend these yet for that because I haven't tested them long enough. I don't know, uh, you know, how long they're going to last. So, you know, if you're if you're going from Georgia to Maine on the Appalachian Trail, um, I don't even really know what I'd recommend for you because uh, I've never hiked that long or that far. But just in general, if you're if, you know if you like a hiking shoe or a hiking boot, and it's something that you you know want your feet to feel comfortable in, uh, you, you know I would definitely definitely recommend the Armadillo by, by Nord of 8. So the last thing I'll mention is that they also come in a lot of different sizes. So uh, that's also nice. There's a lot of sizes and then they have wide sizes available. I normally wear a wide shoe, uh, but at the time of the test, they didn't have the wides available. So uh, they sent me one size longer. So I'm normally a 10 and a half, they sent me an 11. Uh, I'm normally a 10 and a half wide in my Merrill Moabs. They sent me an 11 uh, standard width and it was incredibly comfortable. So when I do order the lows, I'm just gonna order an 11 uh, in standard and, and, and not worry about it. So, uh, I, you know, your mileage may vary. Everyone's feet are different and depending on what you like. But guys, I gotta say, really and truly, my feet are very comfortable in those shoes from the moment I put them on. And I've been struggling with some plantar fasciitis and some other things. And so shoes have been really important for me. Uh, it's been been difficult to to get out and uh, especially in the mornings uh, with the plantar fasciitis and I have not had any plantar fasciitis issues with these shoes so that's also really really important to me and a, and a, and a plus for them so all in all guys I really really do like them I hope that they last as long as my Merrill Moabs I don't know yet I'll 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 find out but I like them enough to buy the lows myself with my own money and to test those out because I am I am that impressed with uh, with these. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you're looking for a good hiking boot and you have given these a try, drop some in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, let me know what you think of them. And guys, we exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. And so one of the other things I guess I would say about these shoes or in general is when I started buying hiking shoes for my kids, the cost went up dramatically because if I uh, am buying hiking shoes for everyone in the family at $100 plus per pair, you can see how that quickly adds up. So with shoes like this, you're going to save significant money uh, and it gives your kids some cool hiking shoes that they can test out and that kind of thing and hopefully you know get them out there on the trail so we exist to help moms and dads get your kids outside camping hiking and fishing so if you have any questions about getting your kids outside and hiking or choosing a hiking shoe drop some in the comments below we'd love to hear from you or you can hit us up on other social media we're on facebook linkedin instagram and twitter or our website at kempoutside.com guys if you like the video give me that thumbs up hit that subscribe and that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos thanks for watching kemp outside we'll see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.